Good morning, everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and get some perspective very quickly here so we can uh, get right to the action this morning. Here's the trading lane we've been following. Remember, we're looking for a break to the upside, about 2.0650 to 2.07. A break down, I'm anticipating coming into this level right here, right into 96.10, possibly as low as 94.25. Uh, if we look at uh, well, whoops. <clears throat> if we're looking at uh, our trend picture, we've got long-term trend up, mid-term trend is up, short-term trend on the other hand has changed a bit. So let's go down here to the four-hour bar. Now this is how you can tell. You see here we've got lower lows. Okay, the lows are coming down, the highs are coming down, and then all of a sudden, boom, we've got a higher high in here, lower lows higher high and then a lower low again. So that means we're now in a sideways trend on the short term. Now because we have two uh, long, we have two trends going up, one trend going down, we're really in a mixed bag. So if you're more of a conservative trader, you really should be thinking about standing aside and not trading until the market really gives you a clue about where it's going to go. Remember, uh, you know, there are no awards for valor in the market. Okay, you, Nobody's going to pin a, a Congressional Medal of Honor on you. Uh, this is about making money and it's about being conservative. If you're a more aggressive trader, this is where you want to start uh, thinking about taking some counter trend trades. Uh, by counter trend trades, that means uh, if the market is coming up here and it does manage to look like it's coming down, meaning a three bar reversal, uh, that opens up the short possibility. Uh, it also means if the market is coming down to support, that you can take the uh, three bar reversals to the upside. And really, in a nutshell, all that means is instead of waiting for the market to give us an identified trend like this and then wait for uh, a pennant pattern or something like this, we would be looking to trade down in this area here. So if the market gets back into this area, uh, I'd be looking to go long. I'm not that interested up here at this support area because we've got overhead resistance so close. So let's talk about that. Uh, we, here's the top of the flag pattern. Okay, we've got this. We've got this sloping resistance line that's starting. So you can see how these lines start to overlap. This area right here, I think, is going to be overhead resistance, and it's going to be tough, I think, to break through because you've got resistance extending all the way into this area here. So from about 99.40 to about 99.70 or 30 pips, you have a resistance zone. That's going to be tough to get through, and the market's going to churn its way up. So if you're not an experienced trader, that can really throw you off because the market might just push up into this area, come back down, push up again, come back down, and give you the sideways consolidation before finally making its move up. That's entirely possible, and you've got to be aware of that. So be careful when you take trades like this. Having said that, I am looking at this market uh, taking a trade as it breaks to the upside, I'm really looking in this area here. I'm, in, I'm looking, uh, I'm sorry, let me slow down. I'm looking at this area right here, which is above 99.50. If that sounds familiar, that was the area I was looking to take short yesterday. So I'm not really looking for the long side or the short side at this point, although the market may continue to break down. Um, there's just not a very well defined pattern for the market to break through. It looks like it's, it wants to form. Uh, a larger triangle pattern, but I'm just not quite convinced of it. What that would look like would be a triangle pattern that looks like this. But, you know, actually on reflection, I actually paused the video there for a second. I think that is a good triangle pattern now that I'm looking at it and analyzing it a bit better. Uh, so that's what the bottom end would look like. So, uh, again, this is an aggressive trade, so you m make sure that you know what you're doing on this. 99.18, I'm looking to go short below there. The move again back down here to support about 98.60. Again, very good risk reward in that the uh, stop is very, very close for me. Uh, I'd be looking to stop out on a long about 25 pips, just above the 200 period moving average. On a break to the upside, it's going to be a little bit more, so about 25 pips coming back down just below these lows here. 